You are live with the Bowtie Guy. How's everybody doing today? Man, I just want to thank everybody, everybody again that has shown me love, that has went on my page and told me good job, keep going. I say it every time, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Gamster Franklin. You can definitely find me. Go look at one of my videos. We're going to be doing every videos every month, every week. You know, just trying to help people out in their life journey. You know, just one man's opinion. All right, so today we're going to be talking about fire. Boom, boom. Ah, doom, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, y'all don't know about that. Yeah, that's that old school. That's that old school. But it's been cold here lately. You know what I mean? Last couple of weeks. You know, and in Dallas, it's not been that cold because, you know, here now it's about 89 degrees outside. I don't know what's going on. Nevertheless, here in the past few weeks, it's been chilly outside. It's been cold outside, that chilly kind of weather. You go get you some chilly and light the fireplace. And I had lit my fireplace, and you know, I started thinking. I was trying to light the fireplace, and I was trying to cook at the same time, right? And I had to keep putting the food down or stop paying attention to the food to go tend to the fireplace. Because I had to keep changing the logs and moving the logs around. And what I would do is I would tear more paper and put it up underneath the fire and kind of get the logs and the wood to kind of together and turn them over and add more logs. You know what I mean? I had to stay attentive to it because if I didn't stay attentive to it, the fire would go out. Right? And it made me think about us men. I'm talking to men today. You see what I'm saying? On the first of the month, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I went to a whole other song, I'm sorry. But, men, getting that fireplace together is the same thing with getting your relationship together. You got to stay attentive to it. You got to stay connected to it. You got to pay attention to the details. You got to pay attention. Just like with that fire, right? You have to go and turn the wood over, right? You got to go and kind of bundle it all together, make sure it's all protected and make sure it's all together. You got to do the same thing with your lady. You got to make sure she's together, make sure the family is together, make sure the kids are together. You know what I mean? Make sure everything is intact, right? Okay? You got to add stuff to the fire. You see what I'm saying? You got to keep adding stuff to that relationship. You got to keep adding logs to the fire. You know what I mean? And logs in your relationship can mean several different things. You know, sometimes you got to add logs or you got to add education to your woman. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to add patience to your woman. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to add that, that element of what she don't have to keep the fire going. Sometimes you got to add the log. <laughs> you need, sometimes you got to add that. You can't be putting your logs in a whole other fireplace because it's going to make that fire go and it ain't going to have this fire go. You understand what I'm saying? But you have to stay attentive to it. You have to pay attention to detail. Just like with your woman, you have to pay attention to details. You see what I'm saying? Because the small things is what you will miss, and the small things is what you will get higher to the what will get you higher to the to the bigger things. In life, any successful person I've ever talked about, it's not about the big things. They don't do a whole bunch of big things great. They do a whole bunch of small things consistently great. You know what I mean? And that's what you have to do to keep that fire going. You got to be paying attention. You know what I mean? You got to be adding stuff to it. You got to make sure that the fire is continually going because if the fire don't continually go, it goes out. Then you're back to being cold. It ain't nothing like standing in front of that fireplace. It got it going. Oh, it just, the fireplace, for some reason, I mean, it lights the whole house. Think about this. Back in the day, they didn't have no in, internal heat. They didn't have no heating ser service in their system in people's houses. You know what they had? They had a furnace and they had a fireplace. <laughs> you know what I mean? The fireplace was their heating source. You see what I'm saying? They put the fireplace on. People would just sit around the fireplace. They would get warm. But somebody had to tend to that fireplace. You know what I mean? Because it don't just stay lit. It don't. And now this is the Martin Luther King Eternal Flame. That's the only one I know that just stay lit. But unless it's that, you have to make it stay lit. You have to do work to make it stay lit. So men, that's the same thing with your relationship. You got to make it work. You got to do stuff to make it still be lit. If you was a certain way when you first met her, don't be 10, 11 years in and now nah, I ain't got to do that no more. No, you got to do that plus more. You got to add, because when you add in wood, you're not adding old wood. You're not adding the same wood that's already in there. Uh-uh. You're adding fresh wood. You're adding new logs. You see what I'm saying? So add new adventure to your relationship. If y'all was going out of town when you first met her, or when y'all went to Austin, or y'all went to San Antonio, or y'all went to San Diego, okay, add new logs. Now go to Paris. Go to Brazil, go to Argentina, go overseas. You see what I'm saying? 
when y'all first met and you was she was paying the bills because you didn't really have it, I got it. Add new laws. Now, if that's what y'all think is, you go and you pay, you help on the bills. Add new laws. You take care of the bills. You see what I'm saying? If y'all had laws where uh, the fire was going in a certain kind of way and she was needing help in this aspect or needing help with the kids or needing help around the house, add new laws. Do stuff new to keep the fire going. Because the more you want that fire go, it's going to keep you warm. And that warm is going to keep you warm, whether it's at nighttime, whether it's during the daytime, whether it's out throughout your life. Because I'm telling you, me and y'all want to go and be with your homeboys and be with all of that. At the end of the day, when you get old and sick, it's going to be that woman having to help you out. It ain't going to be your homeboys. Mm -mm. So you need to take care of that fire. The fire is that woman. The fire and desire of that woman. Listen, this is just one man's opinion. This is just food for thought. I want y'all to be blessed and be a blessing. You feel me?